Tonight we're following up on the governor's proposal to address the skyrocketing property taxes in Colorado. County assessors warned last week homeowners could be looking at increases to their appraised home values. Now they reported a 33% increase in average in Denver from 2020 to last summer. That was the low end. Douglas County homeowners are looking at a 47% increase. And going in depth, well, we did the math for you. Let's, uh, for an example, let's use a $800,000 home. That means a $2,000 increase in property taxes per year. Governor Polis and the state legislature have shared a proposed response to tax bills next year. Our Rob Harris breaks down what it could mean. Last week, Colorado homeowners were put on notice that because of our hot real estate market over the past few years, their property taxes could be going way up. So we took a look at a hypothetical homeowner in Douglas County. They're living in a medium priced home and they were looking at an increase of more than $2,100. Numbers like this had a lot of people calling on state leaders to act. If the state lawmakers don't act immediately on this, then it will be a crisis in my opinion. We now have a proposal from the governor and the legislature. The details could still change, but let's take a look at what it would mean. So back to our hypothetical homeowner. They now get to knock $40,000 off the appraised value, and the tax rate comes down slightly to 6.7%. So that means they're looking at an increase of about $1,858 compared to the more than 2,100 before. We do valuation, we don't do taxation. And I'm very clear on that. This is Scott Kurzgaard. He's the assessor for Jefferson County. He's had a very busy week talking to policymakers and to concerned residents. People are always unhappy when they think their taxes are going to go up. And we get calls like, how dare you raise our taxes? And don't you know people are struggling? Kurzgaard wants residents to remember that their local leaders still have to do their part later this year to set the rates for fire districts, school districts, and more. These are called mill levies. So this will give your local leaders their chance to lower your property taxes too. They don't need to increase their budget by 10% or 20% or 30%. So they'll cut the mills down to give them the budget they need. And so that even when values are going up, taxes don't go up as much. For Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris. And digging deeper here, the state's property tax relief plan would use existing taxpayer funds to cover the cost, at least part of the cost. The ballot measure proposes a 1% increase to the state revenue cap in the Taxpayer Bill of Rights, also known as TABOR. For the next year, that would amount to $167 million more in state tax collections. That also means TABOR refunds would be reduced by roughly $46 per person.